Hey everyone! Recently, some of you have been asking, Hey Ted, how do I connect multiple inputs to my Arduino? Well, you're asking the wrong question. Let me explain why. The truth is, there's no such thing as one correct way to do it. In this video, I'm going to explain the basic ideas behind different methods of connecting multiple inputs to an Arduino, so you can choose the approach that works best for your project. The first and the most straightforward method is by using multiple 74HC166 sheet registers connected in series. This is actually the method I'm using in my piano project. In this setup, you read each input pin of the shift registers one by one. You read the first pin, then shift, read the second pin, shift again, read the next pin, shift, read, shift, read, shift, read, and so on, until you've processed all your inputs. However, the most commonly used method is what's called a key matrix. There are several ways to implement this. For example, you can use a couple of 74HC595 shift registers for inputs and a few Arduino pins for outputs. Here's how it works. You set the first output pin of the shift register to high and check the status of each input pin of the Arduino, first, second, third, and so on. Then you switch the first shift register pin to low and the second pin to high and repeat the process and so on. Alternatively, you can use 74HC166 shift registers for the key matrix outputs and several Arduino pins for inputs. This configuration allows you to scan the key matrix either horizontally or vertically. You can set the first Arduino pin to high, then read each pin of the shift registers one by one, just like we did in the first example shift, read, shift, read, etc. Then you set the first Arduino pin to low and the second pin to high and repeat the process. Or you can switch the first Arduino pin to high, read the first shift register pin, switch the first Arduino pin to low and the second pin to high and read the same shift register pin again. Continue this process until you've scanned all the Arduino pins then shift the input pin of the 166 shift registers and repeat the sequence. Lastly, you can combine the 74HC166 and 74HC595 shift registers. In this setup, you set the first pin of the 595 shift register to high and read each pin of the 166 shift registers one by one. Then you switch the first pin of the 595 shift register to low and the second pin to high and repeat reading all the 166 shift register pins, and so on. I hope this video has helped you grasp the basic concepts of connecting multiple inputs to an Arduino. If you found it helpful, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's just a couple of clicks for you, but it means a lot to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.